what's happening everybody welcome back to the channel hope you all doing well hope hunting has been good up here not so much there's uh lucky enough for the hobby stores like i said because walmart's have been hurting pretty bad lately i don't know what's going on but there's just no mattel products coming through at all and it's getting to be shameful anyways without mattel products we're stuck to buying some other stuff so with that being said, got this guy here. Pretty excited about this, actually. We've got the Majorette Black Edition Gift Pack. This one looks to be pretty awesome, I must say. Some of the cars here look pretty amazingly done. Like, we've got the Audi R8 Coupe. We've got the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. The Brabus B63S. Mercedes AMG GTR and the Tra Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Very, very cool looking pack here. So I'm pretty excited about getting this guy open. Does look like they're on plastic wheels, so not much to uh not much for premium wise, but do have opening parts. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty excited about this box set. Does look good. Don't collect a lot of major etch, you guys do know that. So when I do, it's uh, usually something pretty awesome. Then, speaking about finding some stuff, we do have the vintage racing set from Hot Wheels, which is not too bad. Most of these cars sitting on their brand new wheels. Uh, these are not in order at the moment. Uh, actually, they are. This is number one. The 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Awesome car. There's your set right there. Then number two, we have the 1955 Corvette in baby blue. Very cool. BMW 2002. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to get a yawn out. Wow. Okay, that's out. Hopefully another one won't come out. Uh, next in line is the 1971 Lamborghini Mira SV in gold. Awesome. Then we have the 1971 Porsche 911 in green. Loving these new wheels. Honestly, they're looking good. And then we've got the 1967 Camaro, which everybody is saying, it's a chase, it's a chase, it's a chase. I don't see it being a chase. It is number six of six in here. Unless there's some boxes that don't come with six cars. But anyways, what a beauty it looks. I mean, this paint on here looks amazing. And, of course, I'm never going to turn down a 67 Camaro. So there we have that. Majorette and some Hot Wheels. Then on top of that, we are going to do an unboxing. I will save it for last, but we are going to unbox this guy right here. I do have the new green lights, okay? This is the new Golf Oil Special Edition Series 2 assortment, okay, of green light. And pretty excited about this guy. I mean, they are all golf cars. And uh, there's some there's some heavy hitters in here. So I'm very excited about that. And yes, we are going to crack this guy open. All right. I figured I would save it to the end of the video. And we will crack open the others first. Jeez, I'm really, really super tired. And I'm yawning all kinds. I maybe should have waited to do this video. But anyways, we're halfway through. So... Let's set up that trusty turntable and let's dig into some, well, we got a bit of a mixed bag of everything here. So let's check them all out. Okay, I figure we'll start off with these uh, Hot Wheels. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll do them in order, I guess. Five, four, three, two, one, right. Four, three, two, and one, okay. Like I said, I guess we'll start it off in order. We'll, we'll check these out one by one. And we will start off with the uh, Mercedes, the 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Card art is amazing. Really, really cool card art. And uh, 
Here we go. Let's get these guys open. Oh, this is nice. Honestly, so they are on metal base, which is awesome. We do have plastic wheels, but they are brand new wheels, guys. Okay, so it is a metal body and metal base, which is very, very nice. And a beautiful, beautiful crisp paint on these. This one is gorgeous. Beautiful. Love the white, honestly, with the uh, silver trim. Really, really nicely done, this car. And definitely worth the money, guys, because they do come on metal base and metal body. So they're definitely a little, little bit, uh, well, a lot nicer. And we also have the um, new wheels, which is definitely a plus. I'm just checking out these other cars. I don't know if they're all on metal bases. I see a couple that look like they're on plastic. I hope not, but uh, anyway, okay. So that is the Mercedes. Looks very sweet. I mean, as you can see on the number, there's absolutely no pixelation. Very, very nicely crisp decals, which is really awesome. Beautiful, beautiful cars. Next one is the 55 Corvette in this baby blue, powder baby blue with a tan interior. Now that is a little bit different. They put a tan interior in this one with the baby blue paint. Don't know if it matches that well, but not bad. There's the wheels, as you can see. Very, very nice. Really, really good paint. Crisp, crisp graphics, guys. And you get that tan interior. And this one is on a metal base as well, which is a definite bonus. And there she is. Casting that's not been done very often. This uh, beautiful Corvette. We don't have tons and tons in the collection, which is very awesome. And looking real good. Got that racing vibe, which it should. This is a racing set. So looking very, very nice. The next one is the BMW 2002. And, well... Let's just get it out. I must say, though, this car here always comes in racing livery. And actually, this one came with a plastic base. Okay. So I was right. They're not all on metal bases. They all do have new wheels, though, which is definitely cool. But this one is on a plastic base. And has that very typical... BMW logo, uh, not logo, but striping, the red, uh, the red and blue. Very cool. Well, number two on there. Very simple, very clean. Awesome looking little casting. Okay, number three, uh, number four, sorry, is the Lamborghini Mira SV done in gold. And if I was seeing this one right, it is also on a plastic base. Yeah, it is. There we go. There's those wheels. And it is sitting on a gold plastic base. A very nice looking casting. Very clean as well, this casting. The only thing on it is a number 32. So very, very simple, very clean. And a good looking casting, to be honest with you. At least the, the interior kind of matches with the gold. You've got the uh, kind of grayish interior. So it does fit nicely. That's a good looking car. Quite a nice set. Quite a nice racing set, this one. Okay, next one is the Porsche 911. There she is. This casting we've got quite often, quite a few times it's been released. But now, it's sitting on these brand new wheels with a plastic base. There they are. Very, very sweet indeed, these wheels. They do look awesome on this car. No doubt about it. 
Beautiful, beautiful crisp green paint on this thing, which is very sweet. Love the two-tone, so the, uh, the white plastic base actually does look good on this car. They do have plastic inserts for the turn signals, which is very cool, okay? And the rear, the rear lights as well are plastic inserts. So very awesome, and they do have side mirrors. So what a beautiful casting this one is, actually. This is gorgeous. I do like this one. This one is sweet. Well, they're all pretty nice, to be honest with you. I haven't got a disappointment yet. And I really don't think the next one I'll be disappointed with either. Because I think the next one will probably actually be my favorite in the box. But anyways, here we are. Number 606 is the 1967 Camaro. In this gorgeous red Edelbrock livery. I mean... What more do you want to say? And does it have it has the opening hood, which is great. It's the old casting. And look at this beautiful, beautiful red paint, guys. Okay. I mean, this is like the Spectre Flame uh, paint on here. So that's probably why everybody thought it was a chase, because it's the only one that comes with the Spectre Flame paint. Look at these beautiful wheels on here. I mean, that is awesome. Metal base. So it is the, the old casting, which is great. And you do have the opening hood, of course. Very, very cool. And what a beauty. What a beauty. Am I going to be glad to add this one to the collection, guys? So not a bad set, guys. It is a set to grab, and it is, as we all know, well, they're new. They're new. They're, these wheels are new, so it's something to grab to add to the collection, guys. Very, very nicely done. Let us open up this gift pack black edition majorettes. All right, let's take a look at these and see how easy it is to open. Uh, if I may have to pause you guys to unpackage everything hope not hope they come out pretty easily i don't think the box i really have to worry about because we are not going to keep it but are they taped are they yeah this should be easy this should be fairly easy we'll do them off one by one and we will start off with the audi okay the Audi R8 coming out. And here we go. First off is the Audi R8. Let's get these bands off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't look that easy, huh? You know what? I just may have to pause you guys. This just may take up the whole video trying to get these rubber bands off. Because that's exactly what they are. They're clear rubber bands, guys. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay. So I'm definitely going to have to pause you guys to do that. All right. So let me put this guy off to the side. And let me. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Here is the Audi R8. Okay. What's the first one to do? And these things were a real pain in the butt to take off. I'll be honest with you. The elastics were really chowed down on everything. There we are. This guy has no opening parts, which is a bit of a surprise because it looks like the rest do. But anyways, this is done in a beautiful matte black awesome awesome silver trim okay really really well, well done for majorette and uh inserted lights thing rolls incredible we do know that it is a plastic base plastic wheels but nevertheless car looks really really well done honestly looks great in this matte black
Next one is the Nissan GTR. Looking pretty sweet as well. This one here, we have inserted headlights as well. And she also is plastic base. But here we have opening parts. Okay, we do have opening doors. There we are. As I said, inserted headlights, painted tail lights, but at least the rear end is all painted. Looks pretty good. And also is done in a matte black. But door gaps look to be pretty decent. Spoilers on straight. Really, really nice looking car. And also rolls incredibly. It is a majorette. Pretty sweet looking car. And now we get into the glosses. The next one is the Mercedes Brabus. And as I said, we're getting into the glosses. It is sitting still on a plastic base, plastic wheels. These ones got a red lip. And it is, uh, like I said, a gloss black. They all have side mirrors, which is a definite bonus. And... This one has inserted headlights, which are actually really, really nicely done, okay? They are really nicely done. And has an opening hood. Doesn't want to open that much, but does have an opening hood feature, okay? And it's done pretty nice. Even got a trailer hitch on this. Pretty cool looking little guy, this one. Next one. Definitely one of my favorites. And it is the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR in gloss black as well. Looking really, really sweet. Love the rim choice on this. Front end completely done. Inserted lights. Looks really perfect. Door gaps are nice for a car that has opening parts, which is another bonus. So we do have the opening doors on this one as well. Tail lights are done nicely. They are tampoed, but they are nice. Very good looking set. Very good looking. For Majorette, this is a very, very good looking set. Black edition, guys. Next up is the SRT Dodge Challenger, which always looks mean in black. Beautiful looking costume. And this one, too, also has the opening doors. That is beautiful. Honestly, this is beautiful. This is very, very well done. And we do have the feature. And the painted tail lights here also look really well done. So that is one awesome set, everybody. Actually, I'm really, really impressed with that set. I think that is amazing. Really, really well done. Okay, let's move off this turntable just for a bit while we crack open this green light set of golf cars guys all right here we are so as you can see it is golf oil special edition series 2 assortment okay very very awesome is a sealed case so maybe we'll score a chase uh depending on the way the chases look i'm not not 100 percent with the uh, green light uh, chases i find they're a bit on the ugly side and there's just so many of them i mean green lights usually does have tons and tons of chases but anyway who knows maybe on a golf car the chase will look all right but we'll find out so first off we have one of the heavy hitters i was talking about and it is the 1947 dodge power wagon wrecker this looks amazing Love this casting by Greenlight. I think they did a great job on it. Very, very nice. 
There's the back if anybody wants it. Let me just adjust the camera a bit higher so you guys can see the whole card. There we are. That's the information. And these are the cards that are in there. So, very cool. Next is the... 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Looking very, very nice. Great casting by Greenlight as well. Oh, this one is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. We've got the 1990 Ford F-150. Love the wheels on this. And it comes with the gas pump, which is really, really cool. What an awesome casting this one is. Very, very nicely done by Greenlight as well. And we are going to crack these guys open after everybody. So hang on, and we're going to get them out of their prisons. This is a casting I really wanted. The 1950 Mercury 8 Coupe. Looking sweet in golf livery. And racing deco. I mean... This was the big guy for me. This is the one I really, really wanted from the set. And, uh, yeah, it just looks sweet. What a great casting. Next is the Jeep. 1976 Jeep CJ5. Also looking pretty cool. This guy's all dotted out. With the spare tire in the back. Push bar in the front. That is pretty sweet, too. Nice set. Very, very nice set. And last but not least, we did get No Chase, which I'm not, not all upset about. Trust me. It is the 1983 Volkswagen Type 181. The Thing. Very, very cool. Surprised it has a racing flag on it. I can't actually imagine this thing being very fast. But anyways, okay. Nevertheless, very cool. Now, let's set up the trusty turntables and let's break them out of their prisons and let's check these guys out. Let me set you guys up. Here we are, everybody. Let's start off with the thing. The 1983 Volkswagen Type 181. And they call it the thing. I don't know why they call it the thing, but anyways. And it does look like it have an opening feature of this guy. There we go. Boy, I got a mess here to clean up tonight, I'll tell you. Wow. Ah, pretty cool. It does have a roll cage. Now, that's pretty cool. I'll be honest with you. There's your roll cage. And even the... That's pretty awesome, too. I don't understand why they're, they're clear. I mean, if they're to protect you from the sun, those are clear. They're not going to do much protecting. But anyway. And it does have the opening feature in the back. To see the little engine... There you are. Pretty cool. So that is the 181. Now, as you know, with Greenlight, Greenlight and M2s are a hit and miss. They do have quality issues sometimes, but hopefully in the set we did pretty good. And this one actually looks not bad. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Next, we have the 1976 Jeep CJ-5. Go. And that's a pretty awesome looking little casting too. There she is. As you can see, it does have the rubber tire in the back. Okay, which is pretty cool. They are metal base, metal tires. This is definitely not very straight, this uh trailer hitch, but anyway. Small little casting. Pretty cool. It is a CJ, so. Very cool, though. 
Love the golf colors. Love this golf set. Think it's pretty awesome. It's definitely going to fill up my golf collection, guys. But looking pretty, pretty uh, wild. Next, we have the 1950 Mercury 8 Coupe. Very excited about this guy. It is a brand new casting, I believe, from Greenlight. They've used it uh, twice so far. And it's been uh, this year and the end of last year. So I do believe it's pretty new. And I could be wrong. It is on a metal base. What's the date on this? Okay, I cannot read the date. 2021, so it is fairly new. And here she is. Look how sweet that is. Love the blacked out wheels. Great choice. And this car is awesome looking. What a vintage vibe this thing has. And it's even got the 60 on the top. Very cool. That is some old school racing right there. Okay, the next one is the 1990 Ford F-150 with gas pump. This one looks amazing as well. Great casting. Actually, Greenlight did a great job with this casting as well. And here she is. Look at those wheels. What an awesome job on those. Metal base. We do have the opening hood, I believe. Does it have an opening hood? Does look like it. It looks like it wants to open, but I guess not. No, it must uh, be solid. But they did a great job. Look, they got the inserted lights in the front, which is amazing. You're painted in the back, but still very well done. You've got a gas tank. That is pretty cool. Honestly, that is pretty cool. I love that truck. That is an awesome casting by Greenlight, everybody. It's almost perfected, to be honest with you. It really does look amazing. And you'll understand why when I show you the next one. Okay, the next one is the Silverado 2023. And to me, it's by the front end that just makes or breaks the truck castings. Okay, especially when it comes to green light. It's the front ends. And uh, this one, as you can see, the front end is amazing. Because it does have the inserted plastic headlights okay which is a definite bonus okay this silverado here i mean as you can see from the sides casting is gorgeous side mirrors really did a good job the painted lights in the back look decent i mean uh, they're pretty decently done okay but what breaks this casting is the fact of the front okay the tampos you don't see they're not inserts, okay? Maybe inserted plastic would have done a lot better on that front end because if you look at the two here, the realisticness of the F-150 right here is amazing. But, you know, they're two different castings. It's still a nice-looking truck. I mean, the execution of this casting is still well. They did put right size wheels on it, which is a definite bonus. Sometimes green light, they do put small wheels on a huge truck. This one, they did fill out the wheel wells, which is awesome. That's a pretty decent looking truck. I'll be honest with you. Can't gripe too much. And at least they did a good job with the front end. They didn't, there's no inserts, but they still did a good job on the finishing of it. So I won't complain. So far, we have no weak link. It is a great, great set. And I don't think I'll complain much with this casting either. It is the 47 Dodge Power Wagon Wrecker. And this casting, I just can't get enough of. 
I just think it is a great, great casting. Honestly, the RLC from Hot Wheels is still the best version of this with the twisted cab. I mean, that is just out of this world. But Greenlight is trying to catch up on that. And they've put out quite a few versions already. I think this is the third release of this truck. And each release so far is awesome. Great job by Greenlight. And here she is. Solid piece. Metal on metal. Side mirrors are very well done on this. I mean, that is just overall a really, really cool looking truck. And they went the vintage color on this. The blue with the orange. They went vintage. Great casting. Honestly, it's a great casting. So there you have it, everybody. That is the new golf set from Greenlight. We have the blacked out set from Majorette. And the new racing set from Hot Wheels, everybody. So, till next time, be safe, be well, happy hunting, everybody. Ciao.